Can you see me? Barely. You a hater. I can barely see you, you little chocolate drop. Ooh, your fan seal. Ooh. Hi, Insider! Good Yet again. Trying to steal my shine. Good morning! That's a little better. I feel like it's all of you. All of me loves all of you. Sorry, I got a little deep throat this morning. But nevertheless, good morning. You got a little deep throat. <laughs> so inappropriate. Good morning. Good morning, insiders. It is early. It is cold outside. I'm still on a deep throat. No, it is cold outside. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And Mason and I have gotten our morning started early. Mm-hmm. We are headed to a place of fun and excitement. Is it a fun and excitement? Yes, she is so silly. Guys, we just pulled up to a place that is very important to us and um, very important to our relationship. Mm -hmm. um, you gonna tell them or what? The counselor! Woo! AKA yes. our therapist. And mm -hmm. we love her. Her name Definitely. is Dr. Kanika Bell. Yes. She is here in Atlanta. Yes. Support black businesses. Absolutely. I say it all the time. Yes, you do. Have um, we have been seeing her for about two years now. Mm -hmm. um, we don't come very often, but definitely whenever we have any big life changes, like buying a house, getting engaged, starting our relationship, thinking about planning family, anything like that. We come to her and just to check in, in general. Mm -hmm. We have those sessions too, but we think that going to therapy or having a counselor or whatever you want to call it is important in a relationship. Absolutely. Um, and it's important to be proactive with finding someone who's a good fit for your relationship mm -hmm. as opposed to being reactive. So um, go ahead and pick someone who, and it's almost like you interviewed them a little bit because you want to make sure that they kind of vibe with you. Mm -hmm. They have an understanding of who you are as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, and what was I going to say? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, we I um, initially found her on, what is it? Psychology Today, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And um, both when, when Megan and I kind of first started dating, we started going to individual counselors mm -hmm. um but we didn't want to go to couples counseling with our individual counselors so that's how we found dr bell um and one thing i like about her in my opinion she's very fair she'll tell me when i'm wrong she'll tell megan you said what <laughs> what'd you say she'll tell megan when she's wrong mm -hmm. um Megan don't like it because she always wrong and Dr. Bill always call her right. It ain't true though, y'all. That is very true. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Y'all already know. Um, but she's fair. Honestly, she's fair. We've met with her once individually mm -hmm. um, so she could kind of get an idea of us as individuals um, in order to help us, um, I mean, help her kind of counsel us together. Mm -hmm. um, but she's super cool. Um, like Megan said, this is just a proactive tool. You don't have to wait until, you know, you have like some serious issues or, you know, your relationship is on the brink of a breakup or anything like that. It's just good to just to kind of go check in and they, I mean, she really brings up, in my opinion, things that maybe we haven't even thought about. Um, she gives us like exercises and homework to do, um, to kind of get us to talk about things you know like we wouldn't necessarily talk about so it's been it's been a great experience and i wouldn't i mean i wouldn't change it for anything and we talk about things that in relationships we really try to avoid like we don't necessarily want to have the money conversation we don't necessarily want well, to have the I definitely Frugal don't. always wants to have the money conversation Absolutely. so vital um, guys it's very important hey listen don't let nobody hustle y'all in a relationship that is one of, from that Money Mo Problems video, please take that advice. That is one of the Damn, first hustling. conversations you need to have with somebody. Where are you financially? Be honest with me 
so I know what I'm getting myself into. But anyway, that's so yeah. So I like having a financial. Uh, this is very passionate about the financial conversation. I am. However, in a lot of relationships, we know that that is one of the number one things that people end up arguing or breaking up over is finances. Mm-hmm. So um, just being open and honest, maybe having that third party in there who mm-hmm. can kind of see what you each are thinking and how to pull it together so you can be on the same page mm-hmm. is very important. She, Because remember the exercise we had to do? We had to do an exercise um, once before where she had us kind of write down where we thought our finances should go. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was so funny because one of them was entertainment. It was like, how much of the monthly budget do you think should go to entertainment? And of course... I said five percent. Five percent, yeah. I mean, Netflix and chill was free. Five. You feel me? Percent. I think I said like twenty. Five. No, you did say twenty, but five percent of our monthly income—that's still a lot. That's still a significant amount of money. Yeah. If you would like to take me to Crystals in the park, but we kind of found a way <laughs> to meet. Right. It, it, it started the conversation to say, okay, so you're five, you're 20. Where can you guys find that happy medium where you don't feel like she's not giving enough and you don't feel like she's giving too, too much? So right. um, it, it like it's little exercises like that that kind of help you talk about and think about things that you necessarily wouldn't otherwise. So, I mean, right. it's it's been very useful. Again, we recommend it to anybody in a relationship, whether you're just starting out, whether you've been together for years, problems, no problems. Um, because Megan and I, we have very good communication um, 99 point, uh, 99.9% of the time. So um, it doesn't even have to be, again, that you're having communication issues. It's just a check in, man, something. Um, you, should, you should be always investing in your relationship. Yes. And this is just another way to invest. Uh, and you know, something else I think that can be discouraging for people um, who don't want to go to counseling or therapy, check with whoever you work with. There mm-hmm. may be EAP. Absolutely. Um, which will offer you a few free sessions mm-hmm. with someone who's covered under your insurance. Yep. Make sure that they're covered under your insurance so you're just paying the copay as opposed to the hourly rate. Yeah. Of a lot of therapists can be a hundred dollars. Yeah. Minimum. So, um, don't be discouraged Absolutely. by thinking it's just too expensive or we can't afford to. Again, like May said, it's an investment. Mm-hmm. And investing in your relationship is never too expensive. All right, you do what you have to do to make it work. All right. So exactly. if that means I can't get Popeyes next week or whatever. Oh, speaking of Popeyes. Then you, you just can't get the Popeyes. Unless, I okay? Unless or, it's the $5 box. Or if you, if you want that um, Louis bag that you've been wanting for a long time. And you can't get it because you got to pay the copay at the counselor. Guess what? That's why I still you, ain't got it. You can't get it. That's why I ain't got it. Child, you ain't made no sacrifice to go see for no Louis Bay to see no counselor, child. Please. <laughs> so um, we don't know if Dr. Bell would like to be on film. Come on, Dr. Bell. Do this we, for the insider. We may just volunteer her mm-hmm. um, to see if she'd like to offer some advice on the importance of counseling and therapy. Not trying to sell it to you, but you know it is important absolutely so we'll see what she says she is super cool um she is hilarious oh my gosh she is hilarious mm-hmm. um so hopefully she'll say yes and if not i'll probably sneak and record her anyway okay just kidding i ain't trying to go to i jail. think that's against hipaa i don't think that's good oh it's I like think- reverse hipaa but i'm paying my copay this my session i can that's record crazy. it if i want to what if i want to go back for future references. Go back. You just in a singing mood today, ain't you? I am. Okay, well, since she is, I'm going to spare y'all ears and my own ears. So we will see y'all later. Go ahead. Say your infamous. Bye. Bye. So extra.
I usually tell couples, right when you are figuring out and deciding that you're going to be together, that this is going to be for the long haul, come on in and find out those things about each other that you think you found out already, but it was your dating personality. That way you don't have to come back into marital therapy when disaster strikes. So I really try to convince couples that it is an absolute benefit to come in and just spend time on the relationship. It is one hour a week, every two weeks, once a month, whatever, where you just focus on the us. You focus on the we, you focus on how to communicate better, how to love each other um, in a, a more intense type of way. Everyone I think can benefit from that. Guys, what we tell y'all? You heard it here first. We told y'all. <laughs> Real we told deal. Y'all. Real Real deal. deal. Yo, so I think our time is up. Our time is up. Our time is up. Uh, Megan's gonna have to pay extra because we have run over our time. Um, yeah. No, I paid the copay. Okay. See, see. Now we need another session because we are. <laughs> <laughs>